Hello Scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of October 12th, 2020. All the decks that I use will be listed in the description box below. We're going to start with the Oracle of the Unicorns cards. And let's see what you get, Scorpio. If it resonates, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy the reading, thumbs up. Subscribe, leave a comment maybe. Thank you for being here. If it doesn't resonate, by all means, check your rising, your uh, moon, and possibly your uh, Venus, if there's a, a love uh, component to this. Venus definitely might help. So I can edit a card for Scorpio. So I mumbled the heck out of my words there. So sorry, Scorpio. Okay, what did you get for the week? Oh, I love it. Passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Look at that. Check you out. Passion. Oh, fiery horse. Every, every Scorpio I know always has a lot of passion about what they do. It's not a, it's, it's a very good thing, I have to say. And they're always very kind to their families. These are Scorpio men. Scorpio women are a little different. I'm not saying anything bad about Scorpio women. I apologize if it came off that way. They're just very different. It's so funny. Okay, cards four. Okay, cards for Scorpio. Whoa. You know what? We're going to take it, Scorpio. Let's see what you dished out. <laughs> You got a little bit of a book going on here. You got the Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity. Career advancement, change your life now. That to me looks like that passion right there. Do what excites you. Get fired about your, about your life. Increase your energy levels. Look at that. Yeah. Ace of Fire. Love it. An exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. Wow. Okay, so something's coming up for you that's going to give you an opportunity, Scorpio. Renewal, Archangel Jeremiel. Review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Wow, check this out. This, to me, is the uh, judgment card. I like it. Moving in a new direction. It looks to me, and it's so funny, you know what I'm noticing? Look at all the waves and the rough waters over here, and look what they're standing in. They appear to be standing in a very calm little pond of water together. Wow. Review and evaluate. I like it. Scorpio, it's going to be a heck of a week. You're really getting it together. You're moving forward. There's something you are passionate about. It's good. And the world, you got the world, a job well done, joy, contentment, gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. You know what? Whatever you're working on, things are just, it's, look at that. It's like he's got the whole world, his whole, all his wings. There's a whole little portal here into the world and he just takes it all up and he just looks like he's all that. There's two infinity symbols. It's not even just one, it's two two infinity symbols and the air is swirling around him and he's controlling it this is beautiful scorpio i'd say you have one heck of an awesome week and the eight of air i love it an illusion of being trapped a lack of confidence afraid to take action you know what i can't see that lasting very long this is the eight of swords that's that self-imposed prison I think that for you, this is just taking time to make sure because you want to make sure that you make all the right decisions because you also got the three of water. Celebration, wedding, graduation, birth announcement, with the need to have more fun. I think that this, this eight of air, you're worrying and you might be going a little slower than you like, but it's, I don't think it's really going to stop you. I think that you're just going to keep going on. Yeah, the chariot. The, an important achievement, self-discipline, willpower, public recognition. You're, you see, you're doing it. You're, you're going to do it. That Eight of Swords is like a blip. And if you ask me, I'll bet you the Eight of Swords has only to do with when Mercury is retrograde. I think that's definitely going to delay some things because 
Mercury retrograde delays everything, communication, computers, phones, all that good stuff. Even just talking to each other. Sometimes it's like, it's like playing telephone when you were a kid. Remember, you had to form a circle of kids and the first kid said, you know, I ate Wheaties for breakfast. And by the end, you know, you got, the, got to the end and it was, you know, I saw, you know, the little rascal's dog Petey at, at breakfast. I mean, you know, that usually, well, you get the idea. And then you got ego, Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So to me, this says that this is what you have to watch out for. Don't make decisions on fear. I think you have to believe in your passion. You have to believe in your passion. You have to know that you have the ability to change your life. Okay, because you have so much going for you. Look at this. Favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. This all points to you checking everything out. You did the work. You checked it out. It's favorable. It's a possibility. Yes, you can do this. And the world opens up and see, you can do this with more confirmation. More confirmation, Scorpio, that it's all possible. The delay is in your head. Maybe you delay because you want to think about it. And you know what? If you're feeling a little crazy with the Neptune, because I think Neptune has also got us a little foggy, if I remember correctly, fine. Take a moment. But you know what? There's a celebration coming. A celebration because you are making achievements. Because you are a hardworking Scorpio. See that? Your self-discipline, your willpower is what's driving the chariot. It's what's creating the forward movement. And that false sense of entrapment, that's going back to that whole eight of swords, if you ask me. I think that you have to be careful. When you're doing whatever you're doing and you are looking to move forward, don't look at it as I'm making money. I think you have to find a way to think of it as doing good for someone else. Like I'm providing them with something that they may not be able to get if I don't do this. Because anything that you do based on your willingness to help others will always be more successful than something based in I'm just doing it for the money. So I think this talks to beware of being solely driven on just money. And that maybe what you have to do is... Uh, Think about what's truly important in life. You know, maybe it brings your family together. You know, maybe it creates a place for somebody who can't afford to normally have something nice, but you're doing it. So I happen to have the uh, life purpose cards out. So I figured, what the heck, I'm going to get everybody a card. So Scorpio's life purpose. And some of them are going with the reading. Some of them seem a little off to left field, but we'll see. Right, Scorpio? I say just keep throwing stuff at the wall. Books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. So maybe you're learning about this, and maybe that's what this is talking about, is that your passion is something that you don't, that, you know, excites you, but you don't necessarily know how to do it, so maybe you have to learn about it which would make sense. Yeah, because anybody who, who advances in their career has learned something. And in the day of age where we have the internet, I would have to say that the books may not be literally a book, just knowledge and information. So, and if you're succeeding, I would say you've gained some new. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here, Scorpio. Have a great week.